loved ones are expected to gather tonight to remember two small children who police say were killed by their own mother. There are growing questions about whether the murders could have been prevented. And tonight we're getting new video from the scene of that family tragedy. Let's get right to Local 10's Terrell Fournay live in Miami with our top story at 6. Terrell. And that community vigil is expected to happen in front of the very apartment where this family lived. Tonight we are also looking at new court records that show a very rocky relationship between the parents of the kids who were killed and even their drama between them apparently landed them in jail on separate occasions. Hours before Odette Josant's arrest, surveillance video captured the troubled mother pacing in front of her apartment in what appears to be a bath towel. The 41-year-old has since been charged with the killings of her three-year-old son, Jeffrey, and her five-year-old daughter, Laura. You need to put water in my hair. It was just two nights ago when cops say Josant called 911 herself multiple times but hung up. Officers arrived to the home to check things out on Northeast 75th Street and First Court and encountered that mom in emotional distress, possibly hallucinating, according to a police report, and uttering the words, come get them, I don't want them anymore. Police found the children dead inside of the home, face down in a bed and tied up. A neighbor's camera shows the medical examiner's office hauling away the children's remains. Well, they're not supposed to do that. Kill two kids. Local 10 has learned the children's father, Franz Belval, and Josant had a rocky relationship. Court records show that dad was arrested in 2019 for aggravated battery against a pregnant woman and was issued a stay away order for Josant, who was carrying the three year old boy at the time. But just a year prior, Josant herself was charged with battery and she too was issued a stay away order for Belval. No one, though, according to loved ones, could predict the double horror which unfolded in the Miami apartment this week. Needless to say, this was a crime that has shocked this entire community. We have reached out to the Department of Children and Families to try to figure out if they had any prior contact with this family as a whole. And tonight we are still waiting for those answers. Reporting live from Miami's Little Haiti neighborhood, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.